Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine, and today we are doing a little affordable activewear review. We are reviewing the Geo Seamless dupes, as well as one of my new favorite items from Napoa Gym, which are the Speed Up shorts. We'll get into these in a minute, but first I wanted to go over some of like the frequently asked questions I get about ordering from Napoa Gym. So also, if you're new here, you've probably seen me wearing a lot of items from a brand called Napoa Gym. Basically, Napoa Gym was an AliExpress seller. There are a lot of great AliExpress sellers, a lot of them have the same stuff. I chose to work with Napoa Gym because I always had a good experience with their shipping and their quality and I just trusted them. And they have since kind of expanded and started a website. So you can either order their items from AliExpress directly or from their website. They're the same items. It doesn't really matter, but they have really good quality stuff and it's all around $20 and I just love it. So now on to the FAQ. So yes, it doesn't matter whether you order from their website or from AliExpress. If it were me, I would just order wherever's cheaper because it's the same stuff, it's shipping from the same place. If you are making a bigger order, I would probably order from their website because I do have discount codes and if you order more, you get more percent off. I think if you order 10 items, you get 10% off. So that kind of thing, I will put all my codes here and they're always in the description below. And you'll see an option on their website and on AliExpress, it'll say, do you wanna order from the US or China? Usually the US is sold out out, but it's all the same stuff like it's not different products they just ship stuff from their factory in China to their warehouse in the United States when they get a chance I don't think they've been doing this very recently because of the whole pandemic situation but I have never ordered from the US I've always ordered from China I've heard it's around the same shipping time honestly so I don't think it really matters but yes it's the same stuff no matter if it's the US or China it all comes from China they are also working on making returns free for a long time I've gotten a ton of questions can you return to AliExpress can you return to Napoa Gym and for a while they were not covering return shipping which kind of made it not worth it to return because the shipping back to China would be pretty expensive. I've never returned any stuff. I've always just sold it on something like Poshmark, Mercari, Vinted. Now we have a Facebook group where you can buy and sell this stuff to make it a little easier. Maybe if you're looking for an item that someone bought from AliExpress and they don't want you'll get it a little bit faster than from China. So feel free to join that group but they are working on making returns free so I do think they're really trying to improve their customer service so I love to see that. But just to note on customer service, they're not gonna have the same quality of customer service as something like Lululemon or Gymshark. You're buying items for $20, so like you're not gonna get that kind of quality guarantee that like Lululemon gives their products. Most brands honestly don't give the same service as Lululemon, but I just feel like sometimes people forget that you're buying leggings for like $15 to $20. Yeah, you might not get the same shipping times, the free returns, things like that, but they are working on the free returns. And in terms of shipping times, it really ranges. A lot of you guys message me when you get your Napoleon packages, and usually I'll ask you how long the shipping took or you'll just tell me how long it took. I've seen people get their packages in literally less than two weeks even during this pandemic and people who are still waiting on it and it's been a month. So it's really kind of like luck of the draw honestly in that case. I wouldn't worry about your package arriving but shipping no matter what is taking a little longer right now. I mean my Amazon packages used to come to me next day where I live they have next day shipping and now they take an entire week. So shipping all around is kind of slow so just be mindful of that. When this is all over, it should be about two to three weeks yet again. I do wanna make a video about ordering from AliExpress in general because there are a lot of great sellers out there as well. So make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I am working on putting a video together about that. Before we go any further, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out and lets me know that you are liking my videos. And without further ado, let's get in to the Geo Seamless dupes. So for the Geo Seamless, they do have the leggings and the crop top. These are a dupe of the Gymshark Geo Seamless that launched last fall. And they have this red color, they have teal and black. I do have all three colors, so I will be squat testing all of them, letting you know if any of them feel any different, and I will be going over sizing as well. Starting off with the leggings, these are $20. And it's been a while since I've tried the actual Gymshark ones. These feel pretty similar. They're a pretty thick knit legging. They kind of resemble the camo in feel, maybe a bit of the Vital Seamless, but they are pretty thick and they definitely are that knit texture. They're not shiny. They're not like brushed, buttery soft, but they're kind of like the classic Gymshark seamless fabric. I forget if I liked these or not. I feel like it's not my favorite design just cause like it's a little busy. I feel like my favorite color is the black cause it's a little more subtle. It's definitely one of those kind of like out there, super geometric designs. Better than the turf seamless but definitely still was not always my cup of tea. The waistband is double thickness and ribbed and has some of the little geometric details. The back of the waistband kind of has this little like widow's peak detailing to define the booty a little bit. Doesn't look like a super crazy like monkey butt at least but it definitely is kind of surrounding 
the booty. It's a sort of gradient effect. It's definitely very dark up here. And then with the geometric patterns, it kind of like color blocks down to a lighter color. And in the back, they have a little under booty contour. It's a pretty stark contrast. It's definitely like a light color right next to the dark. And then you have some details down the leg. I have these in both size small and extra small, which is usually my range for Napoa Gym. So I will let you know how they fit. All right, so here are the Geo Seamless. These are the size small, and I definitely would recommend true to size. I do have a pair of extra smalls, but I'm honestly not sure I'm even gonna be able to get them on because these do feel pretty tight in the legs already, and they definitely fit me everywhere else. So I would definitely just go with your normal Gymshark size. I'm almost always a size small in Gymshark. Actually, I think I am always a size small. The waistband on these is pretty high. It goes actually way above my belly button, so um, if you are on the shorter side, just be mindful. This is gonna come up pretty high on you. I do like a nice high waist, but this might even be a tiny bit high. But the waistband is giving me a good amount of compression. I'd say a solid medium compression on the waist and medium to high compression all around. Getting a little bit of gathering here, but nothing crazy, nothing more than a regular seamless legging. They're definitely super thick and very warm, so definitely more of a winter style legging for me. This kind of fabric doesn't really pill or collect any lint, so you'd be good using resistance bands for these. I definitely think that these would be a nice high performance legging for a nice leg day. I do like the little ombre situation that they have going on. I just don't love all of the geometric patterns. The underbooty contour is nice. I don't think they're like super high on the booty scale though. I do feel like I am getting some unibuts. I'd probably say just a medium on the booty scale. I'd say definitely high compression in the legs. I do feel myself somewhat restricted in the seam area and in the knee area. So just keep that in mind. Although I wouldn't size up because I do think they fit pretty well otherwise. I would say these would definitely be cellulite friendly though. You have a little detail going on in the legs to kind of distract from anything and they are super thick and compressive. And in terms of sweat proofness, probably a little bit sweat proof. I have a hard time rating this because I feel like every legging shows sweat. So these are also just shy of a full length on me. They're kind of in between a seven eighths and full length, but I am very tall. So for shorter people, probably definitely be full length. If you're a little bit taller, maybe more of a seven eighths. So here's the blue in the size small as well. It fits just the same as the rose. I would also say this is true to size. So I think all the colors basically are fitting exactly the same. I would say, I think I do prefer the blue to the rose color because the detailing is just a lot more subtle. Like the booty contour is honestly like barely noticeable. Oh, you know what? These go from a lighter color to a darker color instead of the other way around like the reds. I'm probably like the last person to ever notice this, but you can definitely tell the bottom of the blues is a darker color and the bottom of the reds is the lighter color. So I don't know. I just, the blues are a lot more subtle than the reds. So I actually think I could see myself wearing this blue color because it's just kind of looks like a normal legging with a slight ombre, maybe a tiny bit of booty contour, but yeah. And the black extra smalls, I cannot get them on. So they are too small. Go with your normal size. Next, we have the Geo Seamless crop tops. I always love the Napoa Gym version of the Gymshark dupe crop tops because they usually make them a little bit longer so they don't just go like right under your sports bra. They extend a little bit below. Also, I know I'm gonna get questions. I'm wearing the Rate sports bra, one of my current faves from Napoa Gym. This is made of the same fabric as the leggings, super stretchy, kind of thick knit material. I don't see myself wearing this in the summer, but think ahead to the winter, I guess. They do have little thumb holes here, and they also have one of those little keyhole backs, as well as a bunch of little details, little geometric style thingies. Okay, so here's the crop top. Like I said, it does go a couple inches below the bra band, which I like because it just gives some coverage. It's also pretty compressive down here in the band, so it does not move up. When I raise my arms, it stays put. It's definitely a compressive style top. I definitely feel very held in. It is very warm, so it kind of pains me to wear this right now because it's like 90 degrees outside. I love the thumb holes. They always have thumb holes, and I feel like it fits really well throughout the arm. Sometimes there's this like awkward bagginess around the wrist. There's a little bit of room around the wrist here, but it's nothing crazy. Wouldn't recommend wearing like a high neck sports bra with this because you can see it, but but Napoleon didn't actually make a sports bra. They just made the top and the leggings, which I'm not a huge fan of long sleeve crop tops, but they're here. It does have a cute little keyhole back so you can show off a little sports bra detail. Because the leggings are pretty high-waisted and the crop top is a little long, 
for shorter people i have a long torso and i only have like two inches of skin showing if you're shorter it'll probably go fully down and you won't show anything but yeah the top is nice and stretchy it's staying in place i do like the size small I feel like it's snug and a little bit compressive, but not in a way that's uncomfortable, so I would go true to size. Next, we have my favorite thing that just launched from Napoa Gym, the speed up shorts. There are tons of affordable shorts out there that are kind of those legging style shorts that are like super tight and everything, but you don't see a lot of these like looser, like running style shorts. I won't be using them for running, but I've gone on two walks in these now and I did a workout and I just love them. These do not feel like they're $20. They feel so, so nice. And there are just so many little details that I just love and I wish I had every color. So usually with these loose style shorts, they usually have that super shiny kind of like scratchy material that makes that little like noise when you like walk by but these are actually made of like a super stretchy material so when you squat down you don't have that kind of restriction that you do with those classic nike shorts these actually have like a ton of stretch to them and they're so comfy i've been wearing them around my apartment for the past two days no i have not changed that's just how it is when you find a cute pair of shorts here's an up close of the fabric it's actually slightly brushed but i haven't had an issue with any pilling yet i don't think that will be an issue because it's not like super fuzzy but it's just a super super luxurious material and I love that the front doesn't get all bunched up. They actually don't have the elastic in the front. They do have a functional drawstring. So this is a real drawstring. The strings themselves actually have some stretch to it as well. But yeah, it stays really flat on the front, which I like. But then the back does have kind of a little elastic detail. They don't balloon out like most shorts like this. They stay pretty like close to you, but they're not skin tight. I definitely think you have some leeway with sizing with these because you do have this drawstring and they're pretty stretchy. So if you go with a smaller size, they're still gonna fit because of that stretch, but they might not just be as like loose they might be a little more fitted and if you go with a size up you can just tighten the drawstring it just depends how loose or tight you want them i will try on both the extra small which is this one and the small which i'm wearing right now they don't have any special key pockets or anything but they do have just like two simple pockets in the front and they have a super cute mesh lining at the bottom. And the mesh lining actually has a little bit of stretch itself, so it doesn't feel tight on the bottom of your legs when you squat. And I did measure the inseam, and it was about two and a half inches. They're pretty short shorts, but usually when I have looser shorts like this, they kind of ride up a little bit no matter what, even if they're longer, they just kind of bunch up more in my opinion. So yeah, in the try on, I'll show you kind of how they sit on me, but I have worn these, like I said, for two walks now and a workout and not once with my butt exposed. So I've been very covered. These do not have any of that built-in underwear. So I honestly never liked the built-in underwear because it was just like built-in panty lines. I'm like, why would I want that? So you don't get any panty lines or anything with these. They stay very smooth. They're just, they're so comfortable. I cannot emphasize how much I love these. They come in the two blue colors that I have, this kind of more teal color, the more periwinkle, which I'm wearing right now, as well as black and a kind of gray purple. So let's try these on. All right, so here are the shorts in a size small. One of the questions I got was if they like crinkle up or wrinkle at all. And I've been wearing these sitting around on my couch for two days now and I don't have any wrinkles. I do have a little bit of cat fur on them, which is kind of unavoidable in my house. Notice Miss Peach here. But I wouldn't say these are like major lint attractors. They're just not the shiny material that just like repels all lint. These are the size small, which is my normal legging size. And I do occasionally size up in shorts, but I do think that these fit me the best. I have tried on the extra small and while they fit me just fine and they are a little bit better in the waist for me, they are just overall a little bit tighter and I prefer a little bit of space and the extra smalls, I'll try them on in a couple minutes. I didn't get as much booty coverage so I would go with your normal legging size. While these are a little bit bigger in the waist than the extra smalls, it's not really a problem because I just tie the drawstring and the drawstring doesn't look like it's uncomfortably tight or anything. I feel like it's perfect. They do have the two little front pockets and they are on their own so you can kind of like see them at the bottom, but I haven't had an issue with them appearing during my workouts or walks. So they are short and guys, these aren't magic shorts. Like they're not gonna not ride up ever. Like let's, let's walk around for a minute. All right, so that's walking around and you can see they kind of like got eaten up by my thighs a little bit, but this is really as far as they go. I don't feel like they're too short. I am very tall and like, let's be real, these are pretty short shorts, but I've never felt like I haven't been covered. 
I have not adjusted them since that little walk and you can see my butt is entirely covered. Something about the way these shorts are designed, I think it might be a teeny bit smaller or taken in in the little like mesh region, but they just really hug around your thighs here without being tight. You can see it's not squishing my thighs like in any way, but it is just keeping my booty contained a little bit. So I just absolutely love them. I think these look a lot cuter and more like, I don't know, sophisticated than like the Nike like bubble shorts. That's not the... That's not what they're called, but that's always what I thought about them. And I just love these. And as you can see, there's no built-in underwear, so you don't have any underwear lines. So I've absolutely loved these for walking, but I've also been working out in them. And I really like them for that too, because sometimes with the more loose style shorts like this, the reason why they have that little underwear liner is because you can kind of flash people, but because these are relatively like snug around the legs, you can see there's a little bit of space, but they don't like balloon out. So you're not like exposing anyone. So I never felt like I was like at risk for flashing while I was working out in these. And I got a lot of questions if they're comfortable during squats. And and they literally feel like nothing because they're so stretchy and they're a little bit loose so i have not felt restricted by these at all i would consider these a mid to high rise they go about to my belly button and this isn't me like pulling them up or anything like this is just like where they are so yeah i feel like these are like absolutely a staple if you live somewhere hot i am definitely going to be wearing these as my go-to walking shorts I've also had a few questions about thigh chafing because these are only about a two and a half inch inseam. They're not gonna cover your full thighs. So you can tell when I'm just standing with my legs together, like my thighs are still touching, so they might still rub together, but you just have to know yourself. If you're really looking for shorts that prevent all chafing, you'd probably wanna go with like a biker or like six inch inseam shorts, not something short like this but I found on my walk so far, I've been totally okay. So it hasn't been a problem for me and my thighs do touch. They are friends. Okay, now I'm gonna try on the extra small and I'll show you how they're a little bit tighter. So here are the extra smalls and these are just kind of a little bit tighter all around. I don't really have any room in the thighs here. It's not squishing me down at all. As you can see, like I don't have any double thighage, but these are definitely a more form fitting style short, which is why I prefer my normal size. It is nice and snug in the waist. I didn't even, I didn't even do anything with the drawstring and it still is a high waist. But as you can see, there's just not as much booty coverage. Like I feel like if these rode up at all, we might show a little bit of the booty, you know? So I just prefer the normal size. I think you could size down if you want a more tight fit like this, but I would go with the normal size if you want it to be slightly relaxed, but not baggy. And if you want them baggy, I would go with the size up. So I hope that helps, but I really love these and I probably still wear this size just around the house, but I do think they're good for lounging, walking and working out so far. I haven't had an issue with any of those. And lastly, this is just a new color, not a new product, but these are my favorite rhythm leggings in this new kind of like mustardy green color. It's kind of an ugly color, but I kind of like it for clothes for some reason. I don't know. I absolutely love the rhythm leggings from Napoa Gym. They're the exact same as the Paragon Everyday leggings. If you're new to my channel, haven't seen my Paragon video, go watch it. Basically, they're kind of a Lululemon Align style dupe. Nothing is really a dupe for Lululemon Aligns, but just to give you an idea of the shape, they do have a seamless waistband at the top and they also have no front seam, so you don't get any camel toe. They have a simple gusset crotch and they have these really nice curved booty seams and the seams go above your butt, so they're very flattering on the glutes. And they are a 7 8 length. Stay tuned because they will be coming out with a full length, a little bit higher waist version soon. So for my taller girls who want a full length legging, you are in luck. Okay, so here's the new rhythm color. I'm just gonna do a quick review because I have done a full review of the rhythms before. But they're a high rise, they go right to my belly button, seamless waistband, no camel because there's no front seam and I don't feel like it gathers there very much either. High on the booty scale, they have curved booty seams and they go above your butt, so it's just super flattering. They're made of a really buttery soft material. It's not quite brushed, so I have not had an issue with pilling in these. They're not like that fuzzy material, but they just are super soft. And like I said, these are a 7 8 length. So that is what they are on me. They are very thin and lightweight, so I would say they're good for summer, but they're not great for hiding cellulite. So I wouldn't expect a whole lot of cellulite coverage. I do wear a size down. I wear the extra small because they are pretty slippery leggings, so they can slide down, but I have not personally had an issue with the rhythms in my size down sliding down. So if you wanna avoid that, I definitely go for a size down. They have a light to medium compression, a little bit more than a lines, especially if you're sizing down. They hold you in just a little more. I just love these. 
if you're new to Napoa Doom, I definitely recommend these. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful if you had to get one thing from this video. I would definitely get those shorts. I just love them so much and it's getting hot outside. If you are buying through Napoa Gym, I do have discount codes for their website and a support code for AliExpress. So if you use any of those things, let me know. I do have a monthly giveaway. If you use any of my codes or links, I enter you just so I can give back to the people who choose to support me because I know you, know you don't have to use these codes. And the winner gets a $50 gift card to an activewear website of their choice. So let me know if you do that. Just send me a DM on Instagram. That works. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.